Hi, I'm Dave Coach. Welcome to today's video. Thank you for joining me. Today's question may seem really simple and uh, very easy to answer, but I brought it up because I think it's something very important to consider when you're starting to map out your photography career. Obviously, the question, what is a photographer? And really what I mean this to do is to draw out from you what your purpose in photography is. I, I think if you give some thought to this, give some honest thought to this, and if you really delve into some of the questions we're going to look at, you're gonna find out a lot more about why you're doing this, why you're in the business, and what sort of business you should be running. And in later videos, we'll be discussing how to define your business and how to, to market to the people that want your type of photography. But before we do any of that, we need to figure out what sort of photographer you are. And I think, like I said, it's a very important and relevant question to ask yourself, especially when you're starting out so that you know what direction you're going to go. As you look at some of the questions that I'm going to pose in this, I want you to remember there is no right or wrong. There is just what's right for you. And what's right for me may not be right for you. You may come up with other questions too that are important in defining the sort of photographer you are or that you want to be. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and see what direction you're going to head. I think the first and most important question is to ask yourself whether you're an active photographer or a passive photographer. And what I mean by that is, are you gonna go into a scene and own it? Are you going to take control of everything? Are you gonna move the furniture so it makes better pictures? Or do you go into a home and just figure the homeowner knew what they were doing and I'm going to shoot it as is? Both of these, like I said, are valid business models and valid ways to think. And different photographers, I know photographers who think both ways, but that says a lot about the sort of photography you're going to do and the sort of photographer that you are. I, I don't think we're gonna get into what I do in this. I think this is about you, and I think this is about you answering these questions honestly. So think about these things. And you don't have to answer them today or tomorrow. Let them mull in your mind as you're starting to decide what direction you're gonna go with photography. I think a lot of these will help you find that way. Why are you in photography? Is this a job for you? Is this just a, an easy way to make money? Did you hear somebody say, oh, real estate photography is a great, easy way. It's got low cost to entry and uh, you can make a lot of money. Is that why you're in it? Or is photography a passion for you? Again, both are equally valid reasons to be real estate photographers. There's lots of real estate photographers who, you know, they work nine to five, go home at the end of it, and that's the end of their photography. You know, it's just that work period. There are other people who have a passion for photography and photography is in their blood. They live, eat, sleep, live photography. Again, which one are you? And I think this will have a profound impact on the type of photography business you end up running. Sort of related to that is, are you a risk taker or do you like to play it safe? Are you willing to experiment and try new things? Actually, how is your brain wired? Is your brain wired to come up with new things? Do you see something that inspires you to try something new? Or are you the sort of person who just needs something very regimented and logical? Do you need to have rules for everything and you just live by those rules? I think there are good photographers from both schools of thought. There are some that just, you know, this is the way I'm gonna do it. I'm going to set my exposure to one third stop below the window and just go on that. There are other photographers who go completely by feel. Which one are you? To me, problem solving is super important in photography. In my style of photography, I think I spend a lot more time solving problems than I do actually making pictures. And I think for some photographers, it's important to, to do that, to solve problems. 
obviously I think, you know, somebody who's very regimented in their, their photography style is not going to solve problems as much as someone who's an, a more open thinker, as it were. Again, photographers of both schools can make a success of it, but you need to figure out which school of thought you're from. What are your goals in photography? Do you just need to get the job done? Do you need to get the images to your realtor tomorrow and that's the end of it? Or do you need to get the job done well? And I think this is, you know, a driving force in a lot of photographers who want to improve and get better. If, if you're always trying to step up your game, always trying to move forward, I think that's a different sort of photographer. You need to sort of decide whether that's the sort of photographer that you are or want to be. And if it is, what are you doing to do that? How are you moving yourself forward? What are you doing to step forward? As in any field, there are photographers from all walks of life and with all kinds of different philosophies and none is more right than the other but you need to follow the the path that is more right for you and I think part of that starts with figuring out what your goals are what your work practices are what you want your workflow to be so I think spending a little time and thinking about what sort of photographer you want to be is really important. There's a lot more that could come into play here too, but just get thinking about what your goals are and what you wanna do, because ultimately your real estate photography business is your business and you need to run it in a way that's going to satisfy you. And I think that's super important and that's something a lot of people don't talk about when they're, or think about when they're first starting out their real estate business. This is something you're crafting out of whole cloth. You can make this anything you want. So know what you want before you start crafting it, rather than starting a business and then having to follow where the business goes, rather than what you want to do. So give a lot of thought to where you're gonna go before you start your business. I hope this helps, and may your next image be your best image.